Hello and welcome to The Breakfast this morning. As our first topic, state huge debt, low revenue continue to raise concerns as both local and external debt hit trillions of naira. Are the states within reasonable debt to GDP ratio? Did they borrow for consumption or production? We shall be discussing these and more as our first hot topic this morning on The Breakfast. And from there, we'll move to the second hot topic, where we discuss the Naira appreciation and depreciation. It seems that the appreciation witnessed last week seemed to be short-lived as the currency resumed a fresh crisis this week. It traded around between 890 Naira to the dollar to 910 from 820 Naira to the dollar we saw last week. That will be our second hot topic. Do stay with us. I'm sure you want to find out what our analysts have to say and what they know about this development. I am Maureen Menonwezigwe, and it's good, so good to have you join us this Friday on The Breakfast. Let's go to our top trending. And our top trending this morning. Rescue operations ongoing at Abuja building collapse site. A three-story building in the Garki area of Abuja collapsed following a heavy downpour that began at about 11.30 p.m. on Wednesday night. The Director General of the Federal Emergency Management Authority, Dr. Abbas Idris, on Thursday morning said 37 persons were rescued alive and that rescue efforts were ongoing in collaboration with other rescue agencies. According to him, the 37 rescued persons had all been taken to various medical facilities in Abuja, while two others were fatally injured. Meanwhile, the FEMA search and rescue team is awaiting excavators to intensify the search to ensure that no victim is left in the rubble of the collapsed building. A combined team of the FCT Emergency Management Agency, the Federal Road Safety Corps, FCT Police Command and the BIO are on the ground to carry out the rescue efforts. And as expected, the new FCT Minister, Nisamwike, has spoken and has ordered the arrest of the landlord of the collapsed two-story plaza in Abuja. The Federal Capital Territory Minister made that known immediately that building collapsed, uh, insisting that he should be um, arrested. All right. Mwike, during an on-the-spot assessment of the collapsed building on Thursday, ordered that the occupants of the facility be resettled. He questioned the delay in the FCTA's effort to resettle the occupants and promised immediate action to see that the indigents of these places are resettled. And according to the minister, the government's insistence on a building plan isn't to create hardship for anyone, but rather ensure that people are protected. In his words, cities are planned to forestall such tragedies, and he would ask that the owner of the property be identified and arrested. He further declared that the government will take over the area and make sure that no further development is carried out there. Wiki applauded the ongoing rescue effort, saying it was unfortunate that the country woke to the very disturbing news of the building collapse. He thanked the agencies, particularly NEMA and FEMA, that have supported the rescue of 37 lives and said it was unfortunate that two lives were lost. He expressed sympathy with those who lost their lives and promised that the government will pick up the bills of all those in the hospital and support the rescue efforts to ensure that they get uh, to the last level and rescue everyone still trapped in the rubble. Where rescue efforts are still ongoing as an unconfirmed number of persons have been reported dead while several others are receiving treatment. That incident there in Abuja, the Garki area of Abuja, very tragic there. But what led to it, though? What led to it? Violation of regulations and the use of substandard buildings cannot be ruled out. Cannot be ruled out. And we must see to it that these kind of things stop. I mean, Lagos, we got used to hearing of it in Lagos. 
building collapse here, building collapse there, building collapse there. And now to hear of it in Abuja is something we hope is nipped in the bud. We don't want to hear such gory stories of lives lost and properties wasted, especially lives being lost too. The carelessness and recklessness of developers is something we must avoid at all costs. Well, this is The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and it is so good to have you there with us. Do stay with us. We'll take a break now and come with Off the Press. <laughs>